I think if a team decides uh, that Colin Kaepernick or any other player can help their team win, that's what they'll do. Uh, they want to win, and they make those decisions individually in the best interest of their club. Super Bowl 53 matchup is a fitting conclusion to this amazing season. The New England Patriots, making their 11th overall Super Bowl appearance, led by the legendary Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. Who could say more? And the Los Angeles Rams, led by Jared Goff and Sean McVay, a season for the ages for these young stars. It's a play that should be called. Uh, we're going to make sure that we do everything possible to address the issues going forward and, and see if there are improvements that we can make through instant replay or anything else. As I said to you, over our history, uh, unfortunately, we have had officiating errors and other factors um, that have been a lot of focus and news. But the game of football is played on the field. And they're played by humans, they're coached by humans, and they're officiated by humans. And that's what our game is. And so uh, we think that uh, we're proud, obviously, of having the Patriots and the Rams here. Uh, we understand the disappointment of the Saints fans, the organization, and the players, and we understand that. Well, Richard, I, you know, we've been extraordinarily pleased with the reaction we've got by playing uh, regular season games in the UK. Um, the fans there are really uh, fantastic. Uh, they have shown passion. Um, they have uh, shown the same type of knowledge and interest in our game that we, we experience right here in the United States. And so I don't think it's a question of the fan base or their enthusiasm for it. I also don't think it's a question of viable stadiums. Uh, as you know, we've been able, fortunate to play in Wembley, Twickenham, and we are now looking at playing at Tottenham, which we hope to be doing this fall. Uh, they're all extraordinary facilities. Uh, we've also had tremendous support commercially. Uh, the, not only from a media standpoint, but our, uh, sponsors and licensees, uh, there's a tremendous amount of support there. I think the issue for us still is, can we do this competitively for the team that is based in London, but also for the other 31 clubs? Uh, that involves scheduling, it involves a lot of other matters that uh, you don't want to compromise. And until we can get comfortable with that, uh, I don't think we'll be necessarily NFL ready in London, but I do believe that a tremendous amount of progress is happening there. And if I look back over the last roughly 10 years of the regular season series, I would have never thought that we have the success that we have. And I think that's a tribute to our fans in London. Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, listen, China, China is a priority market for the NFL. Um, we believe that our game has a great deal of potential uh, to expand, to grow, and to bring new fans into our game. Uh, you mentioned uh, that we've had tremendous growth there. We've had double-digit growth uh, this past year in China in our fan base and people engaging with our game. Uh, so we're excited about it. We've spent a great deal of time, uh, not only with our international committee, but internally with our staff, uh, just in the last few weeks, talking about some very exciting ideas, uh, not just around a regular season game, but uh, using media and, and using partnerships to expand our game. Uh, I believe that's moving uh, very quickly in a very positive way, and I hope uh, sometime in the next couple of months we're going to have some very exciting announcements.